So in our contest, we are going to be giving 10 of these bags away. These are Artful Gathering on the go artist bags, which we had designed especially for uh, the program that we are going to be introducing towards the end of this year, 2017. But as a kickstart, I wanted to give you a sneak peek and let you see what this is all about. And I wanted you to see actually how really cool this is for artists who want to take their work on the road with you wherever you go. It fits right inside of your purse. And there's also a few little goodies which I want to share with you that go along with this. So you'll also, um, the 10 winners will also be getting a um, Artful Gathering ruler so that when you're out and about and you want to do some renderings and get straight lines or if you want to measure things, if you want to measure plants, you'll be able to record that in your art journal um, and it's a handy little, uh, little tool to have. Um, <clears throat> you'll also be getting a membership card and it will have a little place for you to keep your own name and you can tuck it inside of the front pocket of your bag if you'd like to and also put any of your information on it in case your bag should get lost. Now to tell you a little bit about the bag um, I'm going to show you the things that I like to keep inside of mine um, and what I've done is I've made this really functional. So when you see what I have inside of it, just know that this is exactly what I use. So inside my bag, I like to keep a collection of graphite pencils. And this is the 8B all the way to the 2H. And this is the collection that I use. I also have a collection of Micron pens and these are of different thicknesses as you can see by the numbers on the top of the pen. I carry with me a manual pencil which is one of my absolute favorites. I love using like a drafting type of a, of a pencil. Um, I have a white jelly roll pen. And then on the other side, I have my ruler. I have extra um, graphite to refill my manual pencil. And then I have some blending stumps. I have some extra um, sponges here for watercolor. I have a watercolor mixing guide. I keep the um, watercolor barrels that are easy for travel. And then I also have a small um, watercolor set that I carry with me. So there's still lots of room in here for other things. I have an extra kneaded eraser, but I'll show you some other things that I do carry um, depending on what I plan on doing. So this would be a field kit for me. I would love uh, just only to carry this, but sometimes I like to do uh, collage, and so I do need other things for that. Um, one of those things, obviously, is going to be a glue stick and um, some scissors. So sometimes I will kind of have a little bag that I keep that I use to, you know, I'll, I'll take stuff out of here and bring it with me, or sometimes I just take both bags with me, and so that way I can have extras. I've got a misting spray bottle here where I can carry extra water with me and some clips and different things like that. So depending on what I'm planning to do, um, I may go back and forth, but this is really my go-to bag right here. These are the supplies that I find myself, even if I'm relocating from the couch uh, to my office or to my studio, I always want to have this bag ready and with me all the time. Now, of course, you can get little, you know, pocket-sized um, magnifying glasses, um, depending on what you want, binoculars. There's all kinds of fun things that you can uh, add to your collection of what you, you know, of what you want to take with you on the go. Another handy thing is if you have um, if you have a laptop that you travel with and it has a DVD drive, our DVDs are really fun to take with you. 
Um, you can learn a lot of techniques and you can learn a lot of processes of our artists and our DVDs are exactly what you learn in our online classes and these collections once they're presented online um, they are put on these beautiful quality DVDs and these are a lot of fun to take with you. Uh, Joanna Grant has a great class for journaling um, and doing backgrounds and so if you want to take a look at Mixed Media FX she's got a great class on DVD um, and she may be teaching this in uh, online as well uh, this year 2017. So this is a small little notebook that um, I've been working on. I, I, what, what has happened is I've gotten so much paper for my collage work and it's just it gets out of control so when I go and I, I want to travel this is the little kind of thing I put together um, and I'll have like little slots to keep different things in and I'm still working on it because I just really have way too much collage paper and I it's so mixed up and unsorted so if I want to take something with me I'm going to use these library cards um, here just to kind of tell me what's in each one of my envelopes all I did was take some mailing envelopes and I just used um, a hole punch to um, you know to make it into something that I can carry with me and uh, and just keep the papers in it that I want to refer to I think I've got um, text paper here in different languages and inspiring sayings in this one and I'm still filling it so I'll let you know how this goes but I thought I'd share this with you because these are just little things you can get at um, you know, like your office supply store or even one of your big box stores like uh, Walmart or Target. Now, the next thing is not very fancy, um, but what it is, is it's these little, I've made these little books very simply out of um, manila uh, folders. And they're just file folders that I use to make the outside and tape. So there's no sewing, there's absolutely no gluing, it's just a really simple taping method that I used. And why I wanted these was because I wanted to be able to create something, you know, that I enjoy sketching on. Paper is so important in what you what you choose as your preference to work on. And as you practice, you'll always find that there's a favorite pen or favorite paper, favorite pencils, uh, a favorite style that you have um, that works only with certain tools. So for me, I wanted to use this uh, as an inexpensive way to carry little notebooks with me that fit right into my bag. And I'll show you basically um, if I want to, I can just put it in here. Um, usually with my <laughs> with my little books, I actually like to put them behind this to kind of keep them from getting scratched from my pens and everything. So this little metal tin is really uh, multifunctional. So I am going to show you how to make some of these simple little books if you want to. I've made one here. You can see it's just from a file folder and I just put regular sketch paper inside in some of them. Here I've been practicing with my pens and doing some little doodling. Um, I think I did this in the car while I was um, you know waiting for my son to come out of school and so I could do that. And, um, and then this one is just all file folder paper which I, I can either collage on or I can sketch on. And like I told you I love to sketch so um, this is what I used um, my book for. Um, I also uh, just really wanted to sketch fruit and so I've done some little things here. I've got a peanut, uh, strawberries, an orange, and another orange here. So that pretty much takes care of the go bag and what I put in mine and the type of little pads that I take with me for quick sketches or quick studies. Now um, a lot of times I teach how to make um, 
how to prepare your little books beforehand. So let's say you know you you want to do some work before you go on a trip and prepare some of these in a book and you're going to do some collage. So what I do is I prepare these in advance and then I just take these with me so later I can assemble them in a book. And then you can just do a different page each day if you want using you know your paints that you take with you uh, gluing things down and then later on you can bind these together in a book. So having some prepared art journal books ready for whatever it is that you're going to do when you go on a trip or you're going to be at the park, you're going to spend the day at the beach let's say and you want to do a little bit of this while you're relaxing in a lawn chair um, this is really fun to take with you. You know, wet media is a little bit harder when you're at the beach but if you find a table where you're going to relax you can take some of your prepared um, you know, your prepared mixed media journals with you as well. So what I have here is corrugated plastic signboard. I picked mine up at Home Depot um, and it came in a great big sheet which I then just cut down into different sizes. And a lot of artists use these as their drawing boards when they want to work outdoors because they're very lightweight um, so if you're carrying this around with you and you have your, you know, your supplies with you, you want to really have as much, you know, you really want to be carrying light weight. So depending on what you're working on, we'll decide what size you want to cut these out to be. And what I like to do is I like to use these little pots. Um, and they're made to store paint, but I don't use them for that. I use one to carry my um, pencil sharpener in. I use the other one to keep my kneaded eraser in. And so it stays clean. I always know where it is. And it's in a really handy, handy place. So it has a clip underneath. And so what I like to do uh, is I like to put on my board, you know, what I'm going to be using. And um, I'll also take some of these clips and they can be used for a variety of things to hold your paper and they work as additional tools. You can use them to hold things for you um, while you're sitting. You can put all kinds of tools and things in them. So this is something really handy to do and I highly recommend that you uh, you get some of this uh, plastic and cut them down to the size that you want. Now a few of my artist friends, uh, Joanne uh, Robinson, she was looking at this and see, she suggested an idea of even putting a few holes in it with your crop dial and carrying it on a string or hanging it up when you're not using it. There is enough board for you to make several of these. Have some, have maybe one by your bed, have one in your car, um, keep one in your purse. It's, there's all different ways that you can, you can carry this. So these are some really exciting ideas. I'm going to uh, share with you in my next video a little sketch and um, I hope that it inspires you and it uh, it sparks some of your own creativity so that you'll want to take us with you when you are traveling on the road.